Hey, what's up? Today you guys will see five most unusual mixed martial artists who made it against all odds. Number 1. Matt Hamill Matt Hamill seems like a mediocre wrestler, but this guy is no ordinary fighter. There is one very significant difference that distinguishes Matt among his opponents. This guy can't hear a goddamn thing. He's deaf. Matt was born deaf in 1967 in Loveland, Ohio. He started training when he was little. His deafness wasn't an obstacle on his way to success. He quickly gained popularity and has become one of the most respected MMA fighters. Hamill started to take his career seriously already in 2005, when he knocked out his opponent in less than 2 minutes. 21 times he went on that ring and won the battle 13 times. He is the only one who kicked John Johnson's ass. And here's an interesting fact. The story of Mark's life was depicted in the film called The Hammer. Number 2. Nick Newell Another unusual fighter in our list is Nick Newell. He was born without a part of his limb. He only has one half of his left arm. However, this guy turned out to be one of the most famous and successful MMA fighters. He has 14 wins and one loss. He began his training in his first year of college. He said that he began practicing out of tedium. He didn't take the whole thing seriously. But during his last year at college, he had a fight that made him rethink his attitude towards his hobby. He began exercising every day, savagely. Maybe you'll be interested to know that Newell has more than 300 victories between high school and college in wrestling. And even though Nick is a lightweight division, he's also known by the name Notorious. Now, the MMA community sees Nick differently. A lot of his opponents thought of him as a, some kind of freak. But after he managed to win multiple fights in a row, people began to take him seriously. Nick himself always wanted to become a part of the UFC championship, but Dana White just doesn't seem to want to see Nick in the league. He says that it's because Nick only has one fully functional arm. Well, fair enough. Number 3. Tracy Taligman Tracy is an American mixed martial artist. He's also known as Tra Taligman, the fighter with only one pectoralis major muscle. He lost one of his tits in a car accident when he was only one year old. At the age of eight, Tracy became interested in karate. Later, he got interested in boxing. This guy is so inquisitive, he even tried jiu-jitsu. And so finally, Tracy stepped into the world of martial arts. And let me tell you, for a guy with one tit missing, this guy showed amazing results. Strangely enough, Tracy's career began in Russia during Absolute Fighting Championship. This guy was fast like lightning. He knocked out his opponent in only 1 minute 14 seconds. Throughout his career, Tracy had seen many dangerous opponents. He fought people like Tim Sylvia, Victor Balfour, Ukrainian pride and joy Igor Vovchanin, and Brazilian legend Pedro Rizzo. Trey once said in an interview that he fights in order to make sure that people around respect him. Hmm, what do you guys think? Do people respect Trey now? Does he deserve respect? Share your thoughts in the comments and make sure to leave a like. Number 4. Garrett Hawley Florida's native Garrett Hawley was born with a Down syndrome. Surprisingly, he found himself in mixed martial arts. He got interested when he first saw a UFC match. Already three weeks later, he began to train his mind and body to become one of the best. The problem was that Garrett's opponents didn't seem to want to fight him. They were all kind of shy to fight a guy with a Down syndrome. Or maybe they were just scared that Garrett would kick their asses. Anyway, the dude managed to win two MMA fights out of three so far. So, numbers aren't bad. Number 5. Kyle Maynard Not only our last hero shocked the MMA community, he actually dazed the whole world. Kyle Maynard has no arms and no legs, but this guy has a wheel of steel. Although, how'd you fight a guy with no legs and arms? How is it supposed to bit the shit out of you? I think a lot of people will agree with me. Well, Kyle says that he's stronger than most people, and that he can take it. He says that it can't stand when people start beating him. 
And so in 2009, Kyle Maynard has become the first ever MMA fighter without any limbs. Now, this guy's tactic is very confusing, as it should be. Because he's a lot smaller than his opponents, so he moves around a lot, making his opponents nervous. Kyle's stamina and sharpness make him one of the most dangerous and unpredictable mixed martial artists. By the way, not only this guy fights, he's also known for being the first man with no limbs to make it to the top of Kilimanjaro without using prosthetic appliances. Yeah, when you look at people like these, you kind of feel like humans are very capable beings. That everyone can walk their way through life like a trooper. If only we all tried a bit harder. Less sofa, more action. That should be everyone's motto. Alright, so that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you'll press the like button, comment on this video, and we'll share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.